What's up everyone? It's day number 22 of your shred program and this is your 45 minute strength and conditioning workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. Welcome to your 45 minute strength and conditioning workout. It is officially the last week of the shred program and a couple quick announcements before we move into this week. Number one, I want you to go hard this week, okay? We've worked hard for three weeks so far. Let's put it all into play this week and really crush this last week so you can get the most out of the program. Announcement number two, Summertime Find 3.0 starts on May 3rd. We will not have an upload here on the channel on May 1st or 2nd, so get ready to start that program with us. All the details will be in the description below for everything you need throughout this week. So it's a good time this weekend to maybe hit a workout that you've missed throughout the shred program or pick a workout that you choose or rest up to start Summertime Find 3.0 on May 3rd. Okay, so let's get you set up for your workout today. You need a sweat towel and a water bottle as always. Your jump rope today will be optional. I have a little bit of jump rope at the end of the workout. And then you see my bench out here today. We are bringing in split squats. So if you have something to put your back foot up on, you can go ahead and grab that. If not, of course, I'll show you how to make it work without the bench. Modifications will be up here for every single move today. And the last thing will be dumbbells. The lightest move that you're gonna do today will be a bicep curl in the split squat. So you'll go squat and curl. So pick something that'll be your lightest weight. For me, probably my 15 pounds. Heaviest move will be up around my 30 pound dumbbells for a flute bridge and chest press. Okay, a really fun format today. and You're gonna love it. So let's get into the warm up. I'll explain everything. Let's start with glutes or heels to glutes in three, two, one. Here we go. Pull and pull. Good, we'll start here with the quads. You kind of open up your hips, sit nice and tall. Whether you showed up today with full motivation or you showed up today just saying, I'm gonna show up and do my best, that's all we need, okay? A little bit wider, straight leg, bent leg. Just know you've showed up, you've relied on your dedication or your motivation, regardless of how you got here, you are here. So let's give it all you've got today. The last week of a program is always so high energy, so much fun just to make sure you're crushing it and you can say at the end of this week, I finished the program. Maybe you quit before, this time it's different. Reach forward, let's hinge it down. Good. You're showing up for yourself today. You're showing up for all the goals that you have. Reach up and over with your left arm. And I know you're capable of it. I know you showed up today ready to work are ready to rely on me to give you some energy and just knowing that you're here gets me pumped as well. So we're in it together. One more each side. Just trying to stretch out your side body and your hips. And last one over here. Two, one, good work. Let's go sagittal plane forward and backward. Last push forward with the hips. Open up, three, two, one, and perfect. Take it down into a plank position. Okay, engage your core, feel your body waking up, feel it connecting, arms, abs, legs and glutes. Good, take your left foot up beside your left hand. Dip it down in the back and push it up. Here we go. Good, down and up. Two more. And when you get done with your second one, go ahead and switch legs. Same thing. Take it down, open up your hips first. And let's move up and down. Good work. Up and down. Four, three, two more. Last one, good work. Bring it into the middle here. And let's open up your hips here and your inner thighs. Just pushing outward. Stand, push, stand, push. Good, two more. Great job. All right, let's jog in place for just a second. Kind of get your mind ready to get started. I'm gonna show you the format. 
of the first circuit of basically the whole workout. You've got three 30 second periods of an exercise, rest for 15, then a cardio. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my 15 pound dumbbells here. All right, jog in place while you watch me demo. We're gonna go part of the move, so the first part, then combine them, then the second part. So a little bit different than last week. So you're gonna start with a squat. 30 seconds here, okay? Then you go squat and press. 30 seconds here. Then you take the squat out and you just press. Okay, 15 seconds rest. And for this one, you go into lateral butt kicks with punches, okay? Low impact options are up here, of course. We're gonna go in 10 seconds. 30, 30, 30, rest for 15, 30 of cardio, okay? So let's start with your squats in three, two, one. All right, here we go. You can do front squat, you can do one dumbbell. Totally up to you. Only 30 seconds here. Good job, 15 more, keep it moving. Sit back and down. Good work. Get ready to add a shoulder press in five, three, two, one, and press. Keep going. Fifteen seconds, get ready to drop the squat and just press. Eight, seven, three, two, come up next time and just press. And if you need to dial it back, one at a time. Twenty seconds, there we go. We're kicking it off, last week of shred. Come on, breathe. 10. Five. Three, two, one. 15 seconds rest, great job. 30 seconds of lateral butt kicks. Then we'll rest for 15, start that again. Five, right here, four. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, keep moving. 15 seconds, good job. Seven, six. Two, one, breathe for 15. Water, adjust your weights if you need to. We'll go in 10. Back to just your squat. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Ready to add that shoulder press in in five, three, two, one. Come up and press. 30 seconds here. Fifteen, come on. We're gonna drop that squat and just shoulder press. Then ten. Breathe out, you're doing great, five. One more, two, one, press. Just the press. Five, two, 
one and 15 seconds rest. Good work. You can go right into your lateral butt kicks if you want or breathe. We go in six, five, right here. Four, three, two, one. Let's go, 30 seconds. Good work, go, go, go. Come on, finishing up round two here. We do one more time through and we're done with this combo. Good job. Eight more seconds, come on, seven, six, five. Three, two, one. All right, evaluate, can you go heavier? Do you wanna stay right there? I'm gonna go to my 20s. I've also got my 15s here if I need to go down. Ready? Let's go. Three, just the squat. Two, one. Come on. Last round here. I know you can. You get a really good rest in between this circuit and the next one. So work hard here. Set the tone for your day. Set the tone for your week. Set the tone for the last week of this whole program. 10. Get ready to add your press in six. Two, one, here we go. Squat and press. Use those legs, come on. Use your legs as much as you can. Come up quickly so those dumbbells float up for you. Then we can isolate with just the shoulder press. 13. Come on, power legs. Powerful legs, seven. One more, two, one. Just press, let's go. Control here, 15. Come on, finish out this strength portion. 7, 6, 3, 2, 1, breathe in 15 seconds rest and you go for your lateral butt kicks. If you want to go right into it, go ahead, we go in 5, 3, 2, 1, come on. Come on, bring that energy, let's go. Work, work, work. 15, a little quicker. Go, 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 go. Seven. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. Circuit one, done. You've got 45 seconds rest. We're going into a deadlift and row combo, okay? So, I'll demonstrate first. First 30 seconds, just a deadlift. I wanna challenge you to go alternating single leg, okay? If you can lift it, go ahead. Second round, you're gonna row with it at the bottom, okay? Third, you're just gonna row, okay? So 10 seconds. I'm gonna start with my 15s and try to progress up from there. Just the deadlift in five, two, one. Let's go, single leg, however you can get there. Working on this unilateral strength. Focus on your belly button getting over your heel and then hips go back and forth. Good, dig that heel in on the bottom foot. Squeeze your hips back under your ribs. Four seconds and you add in the row at the bottom. And here we go. If you can do a single leg row, go for it. If you need to keep both legs on the ground, keep them on the ground. Twelve seconds and you drop the deadlift and just do rows. This can be alternating or both arms at the same time. Three, two, 
One, just the row. Here we go. 30 seconds here. Then we'll rest and we'll go jump rope, okay? 15. Six, five, two, one, rest. 15 seconds to rest and grab your jump rope or cordless rope or your choice of cardio. If you don't want to do any jump rope, your choice. Ready? Four, three, two, one, come on. Great work, come on, 15 more seconds. And rest, beautiful. Okay, we're back to just the deadlift. Single leg, either floating or stagger. I'm gonna step up to my 20s here. We go in three. Two, one, come on. Just the deadlift. Try to keep your knee outward towards your pinky toe. And that abduction of your knee stimulates the activation of your glute. So when you press your knee out, your glute's working. There you go, feel the difference? Seven seconds and you're gonna add a row in at the bottom. Two, one, here we go. Find your focus. Challenge yourself here, come on. This is all dictated by your back muscles. Keep your core strong. Eight, seven seconds, you drop the deadlift and we just row. Three, Two, one, just row. Here we go. Come on, take that elbow back past your ribs. Don't lift your shoulder up towards your ear. Seven, six, you breathe in five, four, two, one, okay, rest. All right, jump rope in 15 seconds or whatever you choose. Tuck my hair in here. Here, my hair kept whipping my jump rope. Five seconds. Three, two, jump rope, let's go. Let's go, 15. Five, four, two, one, rest. Okay, one more round. If you can go up, let's go. Focus on your balance. Focus on your form. If you're doing two legs, focus on the squeeze here. Three, two, one. Let's go, just the deadlift. Keep your ribs tucked in so they're reaching straight down towards your hips so they don't go outward here. Keep them here, neutral. Three, add a row at the bottom, two. One, come on. Almost there, 15, 14. Great job, you've got five. We go just the row. Three, two, 
One, I'm gonna switch to my lighter weights. Just row. Come on, strong back muscles. We're strong. Breathe. Don't start using your traps. Keep it down. Nine. Reach back. Three, two, one. Rest. 15 seconds rest. And we jump rope. Then we breathe. Circuit two, almost done. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on. Good work, 15 more seconds. Let's go quicker. Go for it. Seven, six, three, two, one. Breathe. Whew. Grab some water. You're doing fantastic. One minute rest here, and we go into our split squats and bicep curls. Okay, so if you have your bench, go ahead and pull it out. All right. So the moves, bicep curls and split squats. Okay, we're gonna start with just the curl. So you can go here. I would prefer you to go here. Okay, inside hand. All right, when you hit that 30 second mark, you're gonna go down, curl up. Down, curl up. Okay, then you're gonna stop and just do the split squat. Okay, we rest there, switch sides. No, before you switch sides, you're going power step ups. This is your cardio, okay? Then you come back and we switch sides. Different arm, different leg, okay? So, I'm gonna start with my 15. All right, right leg out front, left arm curls. We go in seven seconds, just the bicep curl here. Three, two, one, let's go. Curl and open. Just curling for 30 seconds. I'll have my foot here, number one, to help my balance just continue to develop. And number two, because I wanna be ready in 15 seconds to drop into my split squat and curl. There you go, 10 seconds. Four, three, two, now go down. You go down, up, curl. Here we go. Keep your balance here. Good, 12 seconds. You're gonna stop doing that bicep curl and just do the split squat. Five, four, two, one. Just the split squat, here we go. You can do whatever you'd like with your weights. Good, depend on the front leg. Think about the front leg, it's just going into a squat. So back and down, stand up on top of it. 12 seconds, then you rest, and we'll go into those power step ups. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Whew. All right, power step ups. Modification will be here if you don't have a bench, but if you do, come up, down, switch. Okay, four, three, two, one, let's go. rest you're curling with the right arm and the left leg is on the ground right here ready four 
Right arm curl. Two, one. Let's go. Great work. Come on, just breathe. 15 seconds, you're gonna add in split squat and curl. Seven, great job, come on. Four, split squat, three, two, one. Let's go down, up, curl. 30 seconds, come on. Think of your front leg doing a squat. Good work, 12, 11. Five seconds, you're gonna stop the bicep curl, just split squat. Two, one, just the split squat, come on. Beautiful work, 15 more seconds. Come on, stay over that front leg. I know, come on. Nine, eight. Two, one, perfect. All right, here we go. 15 seconds rest, power step up. And then we have one more round of each leg, okay? Power step ups in five, four, three, two, one. Come on, up. Drive that knee. Another modification to make this a little tougher. When you step up, add a little hop. Nine, eight. Three, two, one, and breathe. Back to left arm curls, right leg squats. Okay, just the curl. Come on, left arm. Five, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds of curl. Just think, last set on this arm and this leg. You're doing fantastic. This will be our toughest circuit today. Trust me, I know it's tough. It's a good amount of work here but I know you can do this. You've got 10 more seconds and then we add in the split squat and curl. Five, come on, three, two, one. Sit it down and curl at the top. Or if you're feeling really good, curl at the bottom. Fourteen, come on. You're right there, five, four, just the split squat. In two, one, come on, let's go. Just squat. Now, if you want a little bit more quad dominance, I want you to stay upright a little more. If you want a little more glute dominance, you're gonna bend over a little more, stretching a little more here, okay? You've got 10 more seconds, 10, nine. Come on, get ready to rest. Four, three, two, one. Okay, 15 seconds rest. Power step ups. You know your options. Low impact here. Step it up and drive the knee. Step it up even further and give it a little hop at the top. Be careful with the hop, your legs are tired. Two, one, let's go. Make sure you're breathing. You hear me breathe in and out at the top. 10 more seconds. Use your arms. Three, two, one. Okay, right arm curls. Left leg is out front. Ready? Here we go, six, 
Just the right arm curl. Two, one, come on. And the reason I'm having you do this one leg, number one, it's tougher. Number two, challenging your single leg balance. You're gonna see a lot of that in month number one, or tier number one of summertime fine. Challenge your balance, challenge your core strength, get your abs stronger and get both sides of your body stronger. Add in your split squat in two, one, come on. Beautiful. Add it at the bottom if you're feeling up to it. Last round here. Oh, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Just the split squat. Let's go. Keep your knee out. Keep your core tight. Keep setting your hips back and down, just like a squat. It should feel exactly like a squat on your front leg. 14, 13, come on, 10 more seconds. I've got you, I'm here with you. I see you, I know you're working hard. Come on, don't stop yet. Three, you can give me one more. Two, one, beautiful job. Let's get one last round of these step ups in. Nice long rest after this. And we go for some glute bridges, okay? Five, come on, you got this, you're up to it. Two, one, step it up. Close this one out. By the way, we've got a really fun complex at the end. We did those a while ago and you guys really loved them. Beautiful, 15. Come on, breathe for five, two, one, and rest. Whew. Great job. I need to breathe on that one too. Good work, you've got a minute rest. Trust me, we should need this minute rest. All right, we've got glute bridges and chest press. Okay, this one, you're gonna need to be on the floor because of the transition from just the bridge to the press and bridge. Okay, I'm gonna start with my 20s. Okay, we go in about 20 seconds here. So the first thing you're gonna do, glute bridge. Dumbbells are here. Okay, you can feel free to add your glute resistance band if you want. Second exercise, pulling it up, chest press and bridge. Okay, third exercise, just the press. So you've got just your bridge, a press and bridge, and then just the press. Okay, we go in two, one, let's go. Good job, come on, squeeze the glutes together from the bottom to lift. Don't just wait until you get to the top and then squeeze. Squeeze from the bottom to lift. You've got five. Get ready to add your chest press in. In two, one, elbows down, press and press. 30 seconds here. Circle around your ribs, not your shoulders. Elbows come outside your ribs. 15 seconds, you're gonna drop the glute bridge and just chest press. Three, two, one, no glute bridge. Leave your glutes down, chest press. You're doing great. You've got 15 more seconds and then we breathe and we've got some mountain climbers. Good work, good work. Four, three, two, one, rest, good. Dumbbells out of the way, you've got 15 seconds to rest. And we go into mountain climbers, right here. Modification is up there. Trust me, I know these are tough. 
We can do it though. Three, two, just go right into it. Come on. Beautiful. Let the sweat fall. These are this position. It's always my favorite to just appreciate the hard work that we've done. The sweat falls. That's you. That's all you. 13, 12. And we've got two more rounds of the circuit that we are just about to complete. Come on. Four, two, one, and breathe. We're back to the glute bridge. Come on. Grab your weights. Let's get there. You've got six, five, two, one, just bridge. Come on. Exhale. Good. Keep breathing out. Don't forget that part. Ten more seconds. Now you're going to pull those dumbbells off your legs and onto your chest. Chest press. In three, two, one. All right, let's go. Press and squeeze. You can also choose to just leave your hips up. Okay, make it a little tougher. Don't just lift your belly button, squeeze the hips under. 10 more seconds, you get rid of that glute bridge and you just do a chest press. Three, two, one, drop the glutes, keep the arms going. Come on, I know your arms are tired. I know you're strong though. This is strength and conditioning. We're getting in the conditioning through these long work periods. I need you to push your strength. You gotta make sure you're breathing and pushing. Okay, breathe to push. That's it, three, two, rest. Mountain climbers, round two. Let's close out round number two. Are you ready? Yes, we are. We're in it together. Don't forget that. You've got me always with you, rep for rep. Three, two, one, let's rock. Big exhale, let me hear it. Good work, come on. Last 15, big exhale. Again. Eight. Seven, keep them going. Four, three, two, one. Last round through, let's go, come on. We've got a fun complex at the end of this. Let's go, let's go. You've got six, back to just your bridges. Two, one, come on, bridge it up. Fifteen seconds. Get ready to add your chest press into this bridge in five, four. Grab those dumbbells. Two, one. Come on, let's go. You can leave your hips up if you want or go up and down. It's totally up to you. I'm going to leave mine up here. Last little bit of glute work. And in 15 seconds, you take it to just a chest press. Four, three, two, one, release the glutes. Let's go, upper body. Fifteen. 14. 14. Come on, you're right there. Seven. Two, one. 15 seconds. Mountain climbers, come on. Whew. You're doing fantastic. Rest your arms. 
Last 30 of climbers in three, two, one. Come on, let's go. Good work, let's go, let's go. You've got 15 more seconds to go. Nine, eight, can you go quicker? Drop those hips and drive and breathe. Five, four, two, one, and rest. We're not done yet, but we're close, <laughs> okay? Complexes. Lots of fun here, and this is gonna be a three round circuit. Three rounds for 45 seconds. Rest for 15, okay? Two squats, two presses, two deadlifts, two rows, two burpees, okay? So think of the first two complexes that we did. I'm gonna use my 15s. You don't need to use anything super heavy here, all right? So here's what it looks like. One and two, bring it up, one, and two, hinge, one, and two, row, one, and two, and then a quick burst of cardio, two burpees. Okay, you have that for three rounds of 45 seconds. You can choose to do it nonstop, or just go 45 and rest 15. Let's go in two, 10 more seconds. <sighs> okay, two squats, two presses, two deadlifts, Two rows, two burpees. Three, two, one, let's get it. Two squats, come up, two presses. When you're done there, two deadlifts. Two rows, and then two burpees. Just keep going. Beautiful work, come on. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Rest for 15. Good work. Now it's up to you. If you can go up, let's go up. I'm gonna go to my 20s. Go to what you can keep form on. That's the most important. We go in three, two, one, two squats. Here we go. Two presses, two deadlifts, two rows, come on. Two burpees. I'm with you, you've gotta push though. You've gotta push. Come on, don't stop, you've got 14. Eight, seven. Finish it right here, four, three, two, one. Last round. I know it's tough. I know you can do it and I know also this is all you have left. One more round here and then we cool down. Push yourself, come on. Let's go in three, two squats. Two, one. Come on, don't stop. Right into the next part. Go for it. Keep your form great. You've got 15 seconds. 10. And if you're in the middle of a complex, finish it out right here. This is it. Three, two, one. I'm gonna finish mine right here. If you're done, grab some water. I'm gonna finish this complex. You do the same if you're in the middle. If you're done, grab water. And we, have officially made it to our cool down. <sighs> Amazing work. Now stick around for the cool down. I want this week to be great and in order to do that, 
You gotta cool your body down for a second, okay? So, come on down. Hands and knees. Tuck your left arm under your body. Drop that shoulder down. First of all, just breathe. Push and twist. I'm so proud of you. Way to start this week off right, this day off right. Make sure when you're done, you don't forget to lock it in with a thumbs up or comment, okay? Last month, or last strength and conditioning workout of Shred. Go ahead and switch arms. Beautiful work. That's it, come back up in the middle. Drop your hips down, lift your chest up. Beautiful, keep filling your lungs all the way up. Exhale, tuck your toes and lift your hips. Drag your heels down in the back. I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of how hard you work today. Never forget that you're incredible. Walk back to your toes. You did it, if you worked hard, you stayed with your pace, you pushed yourself in the moments of doubt, or you thought, I'm not sure if I can keep going, and you did, that is crushing it. Bend your knees, tuck your tailbone, and roll up one vertebrae at a time. <sighs> Let the sweat fall. You've earned it. You did incredible. So, quick reminder, this is the last week of shred, and I want you to dial it in like this is the home stretch and a race that you've been running. You've just completed a lap around the track or a 5K or a marathon, whatever resonates with you. <laughs> okay, this is your home stretch. This is that last 30 seconds of the race. I want that to be how you work in the last week of the Shred Challenge. I want you to get the most out of this. And I've programmed it for this to kind of be our home stretch sprint. You know this was tougher than last week, right? I want you to continue to work harder each day. Show up with your best, work your hardest, be proud when you're done and then live outside of this workout in a way that says, I care about my body. I know my body deserves respect, so I'm going to eat in a way that makes it feel good. I'm gonna eat in a way that I feel energized. I'm gonna drink water so that I feel hydrated and my skin continues to clear up. Personal reference for me, I'm working hard on that. Okay, I'm gonna sleep like I care about my recovery, so I show up again tomorrow feeling this feeling right here, proud, ready. Okay? Treat your body like you respect it. Not like you're trying to get it to shape into something that it's not. Okay? Treat it like you respect it. It will respond so much better. Okay? If you keep punishing it and you keep treating it like you hate it, like it's not good enough and like it's not perfect and it will never be good enough and right now it's not as good as someone else, your body's going to respond to that in a stressed way. Releasing cortisol, which is a hormone that does not help you lose your body fat if that's your mission. Okay, treat your body like you respect it. Feed it like you respect it. Hydrate, sleep, mental health, take care of it like you respect your body. And it will respond in a beautiful way. And you'll watch your life come to fruition in a way that says this is healthy. This is wellness. This is a lifestyle. Okay, that's my mission for you. So make sure before you head out, you do something after this that says I respect my body. You give this video a thumbs up to check in that you crushed it and subscribe right here in the channel Comment below and share this workout with all your friends. Let's crush this last week. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Just watch me.